Today, I want to talk about astrophotography and how you would do astrophotography with a video and stack the images. So I'm going to show you what software to use and how to do that. So what I want to do today is talk about a software program called Registack 6. A lot of astronomers use this to stack their images. And what we're going to do, we're going to put a, a video that I did of Jupiter into it and create a stacked image. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Registack 6, which is this one here. Now when you first install Registack 6, you install the Registack 6 software and then you install the update after it. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on select and we're going to make sure this here is, is drop down here is on uh, video which is MPEG and AVI. They're the only two formats that you can use in this software. Now this uh, very choppy video of Jupiter that I did, uh, it was an MP4, so I had to convert it into MPEG so I could insert it into this video. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to find the video which is this one here and we're going to click on it and open it up. Now if it doesn't first open up at first, click on it again and click on it once and it should hang, it should appear inside here like that, there it is. And then we're going to click on open and that's the very choppy video that I did of Jupiter and it is, really is a choppy video. Um, I'm going to move it about now as you can see it's, it's only about a two second long video and you're going to find the best frame by using this slider or you can even just punch these buttons here until you find the best frame because you want to stack it from the best frame that you've got in the video and the reason we take videos is because of the, ap the planet's atmosphere is very uh, unstable so it's, it's, it's very unlikely that if you're going to take one picture you're going to get a crystal clear shot for, for the atmosphere so the way to do it is to take uh, a video and then stack the images from that video to make the image uh, we're going to use a, a frame now we're going to find the best frame to use which is <coughs> I would say I'm just going to use frame number 10 for now, so I'm going to type in frame number 10, which isn't too bad. It's probably not the best, but it's only for demonstrational purposes. Now, obviously, the better the video, then the more crisp and brilliant that your end project is going to be. Now, this is a very choppy video, but we'll see what we can do with it. Um, we'll use frame number... We'll use that frame, frame number 14. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that and press enter so that's told it we do, that we want to use all the images from frame 14 and the first thing you're going to do is to set your align points so if you just click up here to the top left and click on set align points and it'll automatically put some in for you but you can add more I like to add a few more but the more you add then the slower it's going to be so unless you've got a supersonic computer you don't want to add too many align points so I'm just going to put back amount in for now and then I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to click on align and that will align all the colours as you can see down here it moves down here now that's aligned it up for you still not fantastic so we're going to click on limit next and then we're going to click stack and that's going to stack all the images in that frame and as you can see it's, it's got rid of all the choppiness and it's giving some kind of detail but still not fantastic but it was a choppy video so remember the better the video the better the outcome so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on wavelet okay and then I, I like to do it on the uh, if we move across here I like to do it on the dynamic click on dynamic and now what we're going to do is we're going to mess all you need to do is mess about with these at the side here these are just uh, enhancing tools that you can use for sharpness, brightness, so on and so on. So just keep experimenting with them until you get it how you like it. It's starting to make some kind of sense now. And once you've got it to roughly what you like, now you can see it's gone quite bitty. So that's called noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that noise by moving over to the right and clicking on denoise. Now again, it's just a case of playing about with all these in here until you get it how you like it. There's no correct way and no wrong way. It's just a case of experimenting and playing with it. I usually like to slide them up to about there. And that should get rid of the noise. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is align the red, green and blue, the RG and blue, RGB, red, green and blue. And I just like to click on estimate and it usually does it automatically for you. You can see it down here at the bottom. 
and that's done that. So now what I'm going to do is click on uh, Gamma and I'm going to drop the Gamma down just a touch. Just a touch. It's about there. And I'm going to click on Instagram and mess about with the Instagram until I like it, until I get it how I like. And it's starting to come up a bit clearer now. Okay, so that's about right. Down here you've got brightness and contrast. So really, once you've stacked it, it's all about playing with the buttons. And once you've done what you want to do, and you've got it to something like, that might be a bit bright actually, I'll take that down just a touch. Right, and once you've got it how you like it, just click on save image. I'm going to call it Jupiter and save it onto my desktop. Okay, now we can close that and there it is, that's the image. So you've now got a still image of the video that you took. Now if you want to do, you can open it up in a, uh, another um, photo editing software and play around with it in there. I usually like to open it up with this. So we'll just let that open up. And you can play around again with it in here with the brightness and contrast. You can just about see the red, great red spot there now. Just about make it out. And I like to just give it a little bit of clarity and backlight. That's way too bright. Drop that down. And that's it. Close it and save it. Again, it's gone quite bitty, so what we're going to do is get rid of some of that bitty, that bitterness, which is called noise. Um, open your editing software again. And I'm just going to get rid of that bitterness, or that noise if you like, by just going onto here and one stop noise removal should shift it. There you go. And I'm going to close that and save it. And that's how you stack photos uh, from a video, stack images from a video to make a image. Okay, and that's it for now. Thanks for now. Bye.